Hey, I'm Seth with Land a House. I'm gearing up for a micro hydro project that's going to be in the springtime. But in the meantime, I am just gathering things like creek flow rate and the distances and the uh, head pressure, all these different things. So in today's video, I'm going to be taking my laser tape measure and I'm going to be getting several data points. I want to go from my house here over to the very edge of my property and see what the wire run is going to be. And then we will head up the mountain and see what 1,000 feet of pin stock gives us. So let's go ahead and begin this measuring process. So what I would like to do is be able to use my tape measure here. Hopefully I can hold this down. It does the constant read function. So you can see the little laser there. That's two feet from me. So let's see what we got here. Okay, I just tagged that tree in the front there at 83 feet. Let's walk over there and uh, measure from that point. Okay, I measured this first part without you. From the breaker box of the house to this corner stake of the property, it was 222 feet. Um, and I actually walked it out because um, my foot is one foot. <laughs> um, so the tape measure was spot on for this distance. Now, uh, from right here, I actually own another uh, 0.66 acres back here. Uh, so, uh, if I head towards the creek right over here, um, measuring 118 feet uh, will be the, where the uh, turbine is going to be. So, let me see if I can ping um, this tree right here with this big fallen tree on it and just see what that is at. So, let's see here. All right, that is 45 feet. Uh, so let's go to that and we'll have to measure out the rest of the 118 past that. Okay, this little stumpy tree here is 23 feet. So I need to go uh, seven more feet past this one. Okay, so basically if I were to put the turbine right down in here in this little spot, then I will be on the very edge of my property, which you can see the house right up in here, and the tiny house is right here. Uh, so I think that would be ideal. It's a nice little flat area to work with. So what I wanna do is uh, the painstaking task of going through the woods here to find out where a thousand feet is from right down in this little area. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can ping this tree right here and see what we got that far. Let's see, so. Okay, it says 46 feet, but there we go, 75. Got it. Okay, so that tree right there is 75 from right here. And uh, what I'm doing is I've got a notebook here and I'm just writing down the distances. Um, so basically where I'm at now is this dot right here. And so I'm saying from where the creek splits right there is 75 feet in that little area. Okay, I've made it up to where the creek splits off here, so half of it goes this way, and the other half goes down over that way. Uh, they meet back up later on, but uh, so far I've added this up. We're at 750 feet, give or take. I've kind of zigzagged a little bit through the woods, but that is super exciting. So we still have room to go up to our next waterfall up here, where we've been doing our measurements. So let's sneak up there real quick and uh, see what we get all the way to that waterfall. Uh, looks like I may be able to put my intake there and then run even further past where we were measuring earlier, which will reduce my uh, wire run to the house. Okay, we were just standing right here at this tree. It was 100 feet to this one. 
So let's go ahead and measure out this last little bit to our waterfall. Thirty-two feet. So our total run from where we thought we would put the turbine is 783 feet, give or take. It might be all the way up to 800 or might be down 750. I don't know the way I was zigzagging through, but straight shot, let's just say 780 feet. Uh, I'm still thinking this is going to be a really nice intake here. I would place a board over here. It'd run along that and create a uh, screened intake box right here. So the water would go into the box, leaves and stuff would roll off and keep going. Uh, so what I would also do is come down a few feet. I don't know if it'd be right in here somewhere so that the intake would go down and fill up a 55 gallon drum. So let's just say that uh, we have to come down a little bit further here. Uh, let's just say came down to this point here so the barrel was below the uh, intake there. So we're back down that 30 feet that we were before. So let's say right here is where we took off. Um, 750 feet, let's say, is what we've got down to our turbine location. So basically, we can extend even further down towards the house, um, another 200 feet easy, um, which is really exciting news. So uh, what I'm gonna do in the next video is I will come back here and uh, get the elevation. I might try to use my um, 3D, or my um, level. Yeah. So if I can come down to about this point, which is below the waterfall, put my 55 gallon drum here, that would give me roughly 750 feet back down to our turbine location. So I would extend that thing all the way out to the 1,000 feet and gain that extra 10, 15 feet of head that's down there. So in the next video, what I'll do is take my level or uh, the old fashioned string and level, um, what to see. Um, but laser level is probably easier. I'll set it up and have it span out and touch the ground. And I can just keep measuring as I go along to see what the total drop is from this point down. Online, it shows 212 feet of drop. So, uh, but it's kind of hard to tell because from here on up, it drops real quick or it climbs up so fast. Um, so anyway, so basically let's go back down here to the uh, turbine location and go out another 200 feet and see where we end up. I made it back down here to the spot we were thinking about earlier for the turbine. And uh, there's where the creek joins back together. So that was the 75 feet there. Uh, so if we say that this right here was 751 feet from the top, um, let's go ahead and just keep uh, measuring down here and see where 200 feet gets us. Uh, I can actually see that this is dropping another uh, six to 10 feet just from here to the other tree right there. So this would be nice to have this extra drop here. There's 88 feet to this tree right uh, here. I'm not sure if you can see it, but right there is my property line again. It comes over here and goes up the hill there. So there's the intake to the ram pump. And I was measuring, <clears throat> it was 190 feet to this tree right here. So we are back on the property again. And uh, man, that's nice. So if we say the turbine was right in here, it would put us back down to our typical testing ground and would make it a lot easier to get to uh, whenever we're doing all of our testing. So, uh, man, that's nice. That gives us 950 feet from the proposed intake all the way down here to the flume. 
Uh, so what I could do is maybe take my barrel up a few more feet and uh, not have to worry about cutting off that extra 50 feet from our, um, our pin stock. Or I could just continue to bring from this tree another 50 feet, which would get us well up here um, next to the flume. So anyway, tons of options to work with but I'm glad we did this to get an actual feat. Um, so in the next video, I'm gonna go ahead and do a, um, uh, an elevation change from here to there. So I will probably use a couple different methods to get that, but I'll just plan using um, this little tree right over here as my turbine location, and we will go up the mountain and see what our head pressure is. Thanks for watching. If you've got some comments on all of this micro hydro stuff, Write that in the comments down below. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.